Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today you can join me to a lost place trip. I love lost places. Uh, lost places are points where uh, the civilization was, but now there is nothing, only the buildings and all other is left, the people are away and everything is like there was people at yesterday. So and here at my home it is very difficult to find lost places because there are not so many. In the middle of Germany there are points at the cart that are full of lost places, but here not so. So and when someone knew such a lost place, they don't want to tell it because um, yeah, this is a secret. They don't want that the place um, get um, yeah, destroyed. So it is very hard to get um, at those information and found those uh, lost places. But today I found one and I'm very interesting what we will see. If you want, you can join me. There is church every Sunday and the church is full of people, but this isn't so. Here are no people for a long time in the church. Why and what's the mysterium about this church, I will tell you now. When we take a look at the church, we will see that it stands at an extra cheap it up hill. Why? And why decays slowly such a stately church house? What's the reason? And why is such a striking church in the middle of the wasteland? I see it at the uh, road here. There is nothing around, nothing. Where are all those people that should go in this church? It is not a small one, it is a really big church. Okay, this means that I have to be careful for my head. Let's take a look around the church and then I search for an easy way inside.
here was the door opener. It is a way looks that someone wants it. Sometimes I had to rest for a minute and lay my hands at such an old wood like this door and think about the, the fact how many people would touch this door before, how many people would have their hand exactly at this point where my hand is now, how many um, foods are going here over this floor. It is something special. Have a minute and think a minute about it. We call this window Bullauge, like the window of a ship. And it looks that there is a room behind this wall. Um, I think it is, in German we say Sakristei, the room where the priest is before the church um, is beginning. And we, we take a look here inside of the centrum of the church and then later we go in this room. Directly beside the door is always um, those holy water in the church. I think it was here, um, now we can see not so much. What a great view on the top, so simple but so beautiful. The hell, the voice sounds so great here inside. Sadly there are now outside woodworkers with the harvester and working and I have always those background voice um, but yeah it is I think about how great it must call when um, no not call how great it would be when here inside a person with a great voice is singing because the sound so yeah Sounds great here inside. Here are everywhere um, bird nests. This is an old one. I think the bird uh, was disturbed. And yeah, nothing comes out of the eggs.
This is the altar, or this what is what is now from it here. This church here is the oldest one in a big area. Some people said that this church is a ghost church, that it is spooky here. Okay, I am not in the night here, but yeah, it looks, it doesn't look spooky, it is so mystical. And I found no reason why this church would be not renovated. It looks great. It is so old and it looks so great. It is. Why should this church not be more hundred of years here? I found no reason. The last time that this church is being renovated was around 1900. And now there is a dispute over conservation. Nobody will do it. This church is directly at a landmark and every part said, no, it is yours, you have to do it. And yeah, no, nothing happened. I tell you before that this church here is middle in the middle of the nowhere, there's nothing around, only a few little farms. And here in Bavaria, there are, the most people are Christs. So, and at the most farms, there is um, a little bit away from the house, a little church, a really little church. So big that there can sit inside for people maybe. And this is nothing where the priests come in, only for the people that are living at the farm to pray. But such a big one. And who is going here inside? So we know today that this church was the own church from a big farm, what was here in the past. But now there is only a really small farm. So from where came all the people that are, came here to pray inside of this church? There was archaeolog <laughs> There was archaeological yeah now found of several wooden houses the rest from it. So the People think that here was a big settlement in the past. They also found the cover walls of a very big building. So probably there was a big monastery here in the 14th century. The archaeological found also the rest of a big graveyard. I don't know if it is there now and if we can see anything, but we will take a look later. Now I go a little bit higher, but I must check if it is possible. I don't want to go directly at this old wood. I don't know how good it is after all these years. And yeah, I love my life.
here it goes up to the church bell. I think the wood here is now after all this year good enough. So I try to get up and yeah I I look how wide I came. When it is impossible I go down. I go down again before I was open because it is too dangerous and if I fall down here um, it is really high so and the risk is too high for me I don't want to do everything and risk everything I said before that this church stands at an extra heaped hill so and they think that here was before the building of the church a standing um, a wooden castle so the history is n always longer than the building of the church and this makes this place here more myst mystical and I can't understand why people do not more that this building is here for no more hundred years. Why it don't get renovated? I don't know why. I hope that you enjoy like I those few and um, such an old mystical um, full of historic and storyful place and if you want you can follow me join me tomorrow for the next lost place trip so if you want stay tuned bye bye have a great time